Острел! This volunteer battalion has been fighting in Ukraine since late February. About half of the members came from other countries. It all started with one Ukrainian man who they now call commander. Now about 700 volunteer fighters are spread across the country. Я нарахував до 20 представників різних національностей, потім вже збився рахувати. Тобто із Європи, із Америки, із Азії, у нас дуже широкий спектр, не всіх ми беремо. They call themselves the Carpatsky Siege, after a mountain range that stretches from the Czech Republic to Romania. The leaders asked us to keep the exact location they were when we met them a secret for their safety. But the group was staying near Kharkiv, in a village surrounded by Russian forces. Most people have fled, but the battalion has been doing what it can to help the few who stayed. Martin is one of 10 Czechs who joined this group recently. The battalion is not part of the Ukrainian military, but most volunteers say they do have at least some military experience. Dozens still want to join, but finding people who know how to use specific weapons has been a challenge. They took us to their current base, inside an abandoned school. Soldiers patrol the building and set up sniper lookouts every day. They sleep in this underground bomb shelter. Matej, who also came from the Czech Republic, gave us a tour. He's just 18, one of the youngest members of the battalion. Počívaj, je tady stůl s jídlem, taková obecná kuchyně tady. A pozorujeme tady Rusy přes kamery a drony a potom navádíme dělostřelectvo na jejich ničení. Tak, tady, kde spí všichni ostatní, taková Valná hromada tady, e, protože tady není moc místa, tak musí takhle spát pohromadě. The battalion says it's funded by donations, and even say they have some weapons from foreign armies. Tady máme protitankovou výzbroj Javelin z Británie jako výpomoc. Vypadá to, že se na ně práší, ale to tady jenom střílí. My je používáme a úspěšně. These weapons match the kind the UK gave Ukraine, but the British Army told us they donated directly to the armed forces of Ukraine, not to independent battalions. Leaders wouldn't disclose who is funding them or if there have been any deaths, but there have been injuries. Lékárnu. Máme tady prášky, morfium, skládací nosítka. A generator keeps the electricity on, but there is little comfort. Teď se nacházíme na chodbě. Tam je průchod z objektu a tady je toaleta po stranách. Je to cítit přesně tak, jak to vypadá. Still, many here say the battalion has made them feel like they are a part of something bigger. Nelej to vůbec. Zase jsem tady poznal lidi, kteří bych v Čechách nepoznal. Kolegové, co jsou tu se mnou, nebo kamarádi, a myslím si, že jsme víc než rodina, nebo prostě to samé jako rodina, úplně. Je to tady moment, čem jdeme. V Čechách máme kamarády, tady jsme rodina. Náš velitel není velitel, je to takový náš táta. Stará se o nás. Life here is scary and uncertain. Attacks can come at any moment. Většinou po nás tady střílejí tanky, minomety, grady. Vlastně všechno, co mají, tak tady po nás si půjde. But it can also be tedious. Volný je čas, je tady dost. Když jsme tady dole. A co děláte, když máte volný čas? Povídáme si, ležíme. To je nic jiného, se nedá dělat. Takže válka je i nuda, jo? 
I se tak se to dá říct. <laughs> Martin wanted to come to Ukraine as soon as Russia invaded. But it was illegal for Czech citizens to join the armed forces of another country. Until the prime minister promised not to prosecute anyone who went to Ukraine. Leaders from other countries like the UK and Lithuania have also made clear that volunteers will not be punished for fighting in the war. And the Ukrainian government claims that tens of thousands of foreign fighters from around the world have joined an official group of foreign volunteers, President Zelensky's International Legion. Some members of the group we met, the Karpatsky Sish, tried to join the official legion at first, but didn't make the cut. But they say one sentiment keeps them together. Po sobě a jsou proti Rusku. Od v každé té nácii představníci nácii, kteří přijeli, oni rozumí, že jak jsme zas v Ukrajině, nezupíme mu toho agresora, ta agresie po. Those words are echoed across the battalion. This soldier wrote, "Born to kill Muscovites" on his helmet. And for Commander Oleh Kutsin, it goes back generations. Do Rusian mě. Крім почуття ненависті нема більше ніяких. От, це вся нація, яка тисячолітню історію от, нам нависала над нами, нищила мою будь-які наші державні утворення, нищила мою націю. І це було 100 років назад, і 200, і 300, і 500. Поки вона буде існувати, до тих пір буде існувати загроза моїй держави. Поки буде Російська імперія, до тих пір буде загроза моїй держави. The commander hopes the battalion will officially join Ukraine's armed forces. He says his group has collaborated with them and is talking about possibilities, but we couldn't confirm these claims. We reached out to the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, but didn't hear back. Regardless of the battalion's status with the army, many members told us there's no turning back. Україна понад усе. Ну, для мене реально. Понад сім'ю, понад роботу, понад гроші. Тобто ми вистоїмо і розвалимо цю останню у світі імперію зла, от, або вони нас переможуть і перепинить існування українська держава. Свого милого шукати летіла рочок.